Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Mocha Master KM5 coffee grinder. The KM5 has been sent to me from Technivorm, but I'm not keeping it. They've given me permission to give this away, so look in the comments for details on that. This is a grinder aimed at brew rather than espresso. So if you use a filter coffee machine or if you brew via pour over cafetiere or aeropress, for example, then this might be of interest to you. I think a lot of people watching this are probably Mocha Master users. Obviously, these grinders are aimed at people who are using their filter coffee machines. So I will talk specifically about pairing this with Mocha Master machines. I'll go through the main specs and features first, and then I'll talk about what it's like to use and give you my observations. So this is a flat burr grinder with 50 mil flat stainless steel burrs. It has stepless adjustment, a 310 watt motor, and it's on demand only, I'll get to that shortly. It comes with this glass grinds container, and it comes with Technivorm's five year warranty, which is a good thing to know. I've used this grinder not a massive amount, but just enough to do this overview video. But in a nutshell, I think it's a really good grinder for brew, and I think it's possibly the perfect grinder for pairing with the Mocha Master. Although I think they could have made it even better in that regard, which I'll cover later. As soon as I turned the grinder on, I had the feeling I'd heard this motor before. It gave a very similar hum to the Eureka Mignon. The Mignon Filtro also has a 310 watt motor and 50 mil flat burrs and an almost identical stepless adjustment wheel. So I'm making the assumption that this is essentially the same grinder as a Mignon Filtro, but in a body that they've designed to be a good fit for the Mocha Master machines. That's a good thing in my opinion. If this is right, and this essentially is a Eureka Mignon Filtro in a Mocha Master case, then that's a tried and tested grinder, known for being very consistent and producing really good grind uniformity for filter machines, pour over and cafetiere. If they're using the same burrs, that is. Looking at the grind uniformity, it looks to me like they are. So where performance is concerned, for brew, this seems like a great choice. You might ask then, why wouldn't someone just go for the Mignon Filtro then? Given that they're usually cheaper and they've been around for a lot longer and you can often find a deal for them. And the main reason for that is, I think, the idea of buying a grinder that matches your Mocha Master. The positives, it's fast, around two to three grams per second. It's quiet, it feels solid, well built as I'd expect if it is based on the Eureka Mignon. And the grind uniformity looks really good and it comes with the Mocha Master five year warranty. Negatives, there's a bit of static, meaning that you get bits of ground coffee and chaff stuck on the side of the container and around the chute. It's not a big deal. The spoon handle technique helped a bit. I'm not a fan of the IDT thing, spraying beans with water. Just doesn't quite feel right to me to be introducing that level of moisture into the burrs. But if you are someone who uses that method, then you might find that it does the trick. It's on demand only, meaning that you have to keep your finger on the button while it grinds. That's okay, I suppose, but a lot of people will be making full pots with a Mocha Master, so maybe 60 grams at a time. So I can't help but think that a timer or just an on-off rocker switch wouldn't have been a better option. Again, it's not a massive deal. It does grind fast, so you're not going to be standing with your finger on the button for hours. To grind 60 grams at setting 3, which the manual recommends for pour over, took 30 seconds. And at setting 5, in the middle of the suggested range for filter machines, took 24 seconds. Exchange retention from one batch to the next is about 1 or 2 grams, maybe 1.5 grams at a rough guesstimate. So not a huge deal, especially for people who are going to be making bigger pots. 1.5 grams in 60 grams is unlikely to cause much of an issue. It's worth pointing out though, that the hopper lid actually creates some pressure if you push it, so it actually acts like bellows. So that should help with the retention if you give it a push after grinding. There's a bit of popcorning with the last few beans, so it's probably not ideal for single dosing. But again, I think a lot of people going for this will be grinding slightly bigger batches anyway, rather than single dosing 14 to 18 grams for pour over, for example. These are all small things and fairly standard things, not deal breakers by any stretch. Overall, I think this is a great grinder for brew. I mentioned earlier that I think they could have made it more perfect for Mocha Master users. What I meant by this is that they've clearly made this as a match for their Mocha Master machines. They'll work for all brew methods, including pour over, aeropress, mocha pot, cafetiere, and so on. But I think the main reason somebody might be compelled to pay a bit more for this than for very similar spec grinders, a Mignon Filtro being the obvious comparison, is that they're a match for the Mocha Master aesthetically. This is similar to people paying more for Smeg espresso machines and very similar spec machines because they match the Smeg fridge. A lot of people are actually bothered about stuff like that, so I think it makes sense. They'll sell a lot of them as a result. I just think they could have made it more of a match to the Mocha Master. 
Mocker Master machines have a very unique retro style. You can tell it's a Mocker Master from a mile off. I'm just not quite sure they've captured that same Mocker Master style with the grinder. If I saw this on its own from a few meters away and I couldn't see the Mocker Master logo, I'm not sure I'd get that it was a Mocker Master product. Maybe it's just me. If you have a Mocker Master machine, let me know in the comments. Am I talking crap or do you agree that this doesn't quite look as Mocker Mastery as it could? Also, it's only available in three colours, white, black and silver. What about the other cool colours the Mocker Master machines come in? How cool would it look to have both the machine and the grinder in this orange colour, for example? Cool. I'm nitpicking, obviously. This doesn't impact on the performance of the grinder. I just feel like they'd sell more of them if everyone who had a Mocker Master filter coffee machine could buy a matching grinder and if they looked a bit more like the Mocker Master machines. As I mentioned earlier, unless you're watching this in the future, after the giveaway has ended, there's a chance to win this grinder in the UK only because it's got a UK plug and I'm too tight to pay the shipping outside of the UK. So check the description to see if the giveaway has ended. But if you are from the future, see coffeeblog.co.uk to see what the current giveaway is. Apparently the human nose can distinguish at least a trillion different odors, which has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button if you can also smell bullshit. Thank you very much for watching, and if you love coffee and enjoy this video, <laughs> always laughing, then for very similar spec grinders, a Miltron, <laughs> Miltron, <laughs> very similar spec grinders, a Miltron, <laughs> isn't there a much? <laughs> People pay more for Smeg espresso machines and very similar spec machines because they match the French. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other cool collars? <laughs> and silver. What about the other cool collars? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And if you love coffee and enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tati bye. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs>